today's video, I'm going to show you a new backpack I just got from Halicantex. This is the Halicantex Bergen. It's the perfect bushcraft day pack. I know I've said that before, but let's take a look and see what you guys think. Stick around. All right, if you guys follow the channel, you know that um, there is always a plethora of gear that I'm showing. And um, I've been told that uh, a lot of guys spend a lot of money after they watch my videos. <laughs> so I apologize, I know I'm an enabler, um, but I like to show you guys a lot of the different options that are out there. And I've been on a quest lately um, for really a, just a good backpack that I can take out um, during the day for bushcrafting and camping um, overnight um, when it's warmer. Um, I, I would, I guess, consider that my summer bag. Um, something that I can just throw um, my, my um, tarp and uh, hammock and then some food and water and hit the trail. Um, and I've tried a lot of different ones and I've come up short. There's some of them that are just not um, had the options or the features that I like and um, reviewed some great ones and, and they're still great choices but this particular pack, this Bergen from um, um, Helicantex or Hel Helicantex um, is really checking all the boxes for me right now um, and I'm going to show you the features of this bag and then let you guys decide what you think because um, I feel it's really a great place to start um, with the backpack um, and uh, the options and features are just amazing so all right <clears throat> I'm gonna sit down next to the pack and kind of go through some of the features with you uh, first of all it is uh, made from Cordura so um, definitely quality material it's gonna stand up to any kind of abuse you throw at out in the woods um, quality stitching all throughout, uh, good webbing and buckles, everything's sewn very nicely. Um, but what I like about this bag so much um, in this Bergen style, European style ruck, uh, is that all the tools and water and things that I need to get to are on the outside of the pack and not on the inside. Um, a lot of the packs that I've been experimenting with lately um, that has been the flaw. Everything's on the inside and it makes it really difficult to get to things that I need. And for a bushcraft day pack or um, a summer overnight bag, I want to be able to get to certain things quickly. Um, so like I showed, you know, hanging my pack on the tree, um, I want to be able to get this stuff uh, easily, especially my tools. So right off the bat, first thing is that this pocket has a pass-through tunnel and that is going to allow you to carry hatchets, axes, and long handled tomahawks that goes all the way through. The side pockets also have pass-through pockets as well so you, uh, you can carry multiple items with you that are long. The another, another feature about this that is nice is there is a pocket sewn in here and here now these two on the side are not passed through. They, um, they're sewn at the bottom. And what they're intended for is a place to um, slip your knife um, in a sheath or put your saw. And that's what I've done here. I've got my Baco Lapland or saw on the side. Fits in there perfectly. So I've added these Grimlock um, clips to the side to the webbing. And then that way when I put my saw in here and I run the lanyard through that Grimlock and then I close it, it's gonna lock it. And then over here, I've got my gloves clipped in because these are something I wanna get to quickly. Uh, the front pocket here um, is very good size, perfect place for my possibles pouch. You may wanna check out that video. I did that not too long ago, but that this is that Maxpedition, I think the beefy organizer. It slides right in there. <laughs> it slides right in there perfectly. And that's where I keep all of my, um, you know, fire starting equipment and survival stuff.
the side pockets um, is what I love about this pack as well because it, they fit um, a full size water bottle and canteen um, in a cook pot as well. Uh, there's plenty of room. And what they've done is they've also added uh, drain holes on the bottom of the pockets, which is fantastic. You can see here on this, in these pockets holds a full size water bottle, no problem. That's a 32 ounce. And um, a cu nesting cup will fit in there as well. I've got my cook pot on that side. So it all works really well because I typically don't carry a hydration bladder. Um, I like water bottles better because um, they don't take up as much room inside my pack. So having the water bottle on the outside for me is critical. Moving to the top, we've got webbing loops so you can uh, put something on the top of the pack like a, a bedroll or a, a pad or a jacket. Velcro field for your patches. And then if you open this lid up, um, it is it has elastic built in the sides. So that's gonna stay down and um, provide some protection for the contents. But on top of that, there are two drawstring collars. So you got one on the outside and one on the inside. And that's really a great way of keeping the contents protected and secure and um, dry. Now once you get on the inside of the pack, there is a small pocket with a zipper. And I've just got um, some wipes in there. And then if you pull this up, there is a hanger for your hydration bladder. There's a pocket for the hydration bladder. And there is a pocket back here, but this houses the frame sheet. And that's gonna help give that um, some rigidity, make the pack nice and comfortable and helps it stand up. So I love frame sheets on this size of a 20 liter backpack, works perfectly. Bottom of the pack, there is webbing, so you can secure um, a pad of some sort, you know, a sleeping pad or a blanket or a sleeping bag or whatever. And then here's the back. So right off the bat, you can tell that this is just written really well thought out. So what they've done is they've sewn in padding in three sections, and there's a channel that runs up and down, and that's gonna give you some airflow. Um, and the padding is not overly done, but it's enough that you do not feel the contents of the bag and while you're hiking. Um, it's, it was a very comfortable bag to wear hiking back here. The shoulder straps are um, cut um, with a curve to them, so that's going to hug your body nicely, makes it very comfortable. The sternum strap is adjustable. You can move this up and down. Um, it also has some stretch to it so it's not strangling you. Um, and then quick release buckles to take the straps off. And then another feature, this bag does come with a hip belt. Um, it's not a uh, supportive belt, but it is more of a stabilization belt and that easily comes off. I don't use belts for packs of this size. Doesn't make sense for me. So I, it's just a strap, so I just took it off. Um, but if you need to use that, you can. And then the last feature on this bag, which I didn't even know it had um, until I started messing with it. But if you undo this, and you'll notice there's a collar right here. Well, that's not sewn down. That is a flap. And that has webbing built into it. So if you wanted to attach a small pouch, you could. Um, or this would be a great place for carabiners or those Grimlocks. Um, so you can hang other additional items off your pack if that's what you want to do. So it just gives you more cargo capability, more options. That all folds down.
and I really like how the cover on this um, is kind of three-dimensional it's not just a flap so when once you put that cover down it hugs the top of the pack it goes down all around it and it protects the contents from any kind of moisture getting inside There it is. Just gonna throw this on for you. Very easy to get on and off. And I think that's because the material on the inside of the straps and the back is kind of a smooth material. So it just it goes on very quickly and very easily. I can tighten that or loosen that as much as I want. Here it's hanging more. It's a little bit tighter. I usually like it nice and tight. So I'm a pretty good sized guy, 6'1. Um, and you can see how this fits me. would make um, a really fantastic uh, summer uh, weekend pack, especially if you're like um, hammock camping, perfect. Because you'd be able to get a tarp, your hammock, um, and a change of clothes and some food, and then all your tools and your water and stuff on the outside of the pack, you'd, you'd be able to do it no problem. Um, but for me, it really has a great application as a day hiking pack. Um, I can keep this thing loaded up with all my gear and then when I head out to the woods grab it and I've got everything I need um, I'm not compromising any way All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. Consider that. Um, and also check out the affiliate links down below. All kinds of good stuff down there at the Amazon store. I'll have a link to the pack um, in that. Um, also check out preparedwander.com for blog articles and links to the videos and other items. And then um, check out the Facebook group, getting huge. I mean, we're about to hit 8,000 members right now on Facebook. And um, it, it's just all kinds of extra content from me, from the admins, from people on the forum. They're adding their own stuff. So it's, it's a great way to pick up extra information and learn from other people. Um, it's a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.